about the NFL trade deadline that came and went. And with that, there were a few trades that happened across the NFL. Um, but we're going to stay here home with Washington Commanders. Uh, the Commanders have traded away defensive end Montez Sweat and also defensive end Chase Young. Um, Montez Sweat's being traded to the Bears for a second round pick. Chase Young was traded to the San Francisco 49ers for a third round pick. Um, possibly that third round is a conditional pick. Um, so there's been reports that um, that Ron Rivera, uh, this was not really Josh, I'm sorry, Josh Harris, excuse me, Josh Harris' hands was kind of all over this trade or motivated <laughs> this trade uh, for the two uh, two pass rushers. Um, I've never seen this before with two pass rushers of that type of skill set get traded. Um, being those, you know, being that pass rushers are very um, valuable, very valuable. But when you invest all your money, a lot of money in your two defensive ends, I mean, I'm sorry, your two defensive tackles, which is Jonathan Allen and uh, Deron Payne, uh, it's hard to, to throw that that amount of money uh, that you're potentially going to have to pay those two guys uh, to invest on, you know, on the defensive line. So I understand the trade. I understand the, the thinking. Uh, Trying to max out what you can get for those guys because they both was under contract years. I mean, they were playing on the contract years. Um, our defense is 31st in points. Uh, that's next to last with those two guys. We're three and five. Uh, our defense has been, you know, inconsistent. I don't know whether it's scheme, coaching, what have you. Uh, but it's not up to par. That for someone like uh, you know Josh Harris, who's spent six billion dollars with his own ownership group purchasing this team, a record amount of money, and so I guess he, you know, my thinking maybe he just kind of you know played the back for a while, that you know stayed out of the people's way, you know, trying to get a feel of what how Ron and company was going to handle things and. Proceed with different, uh, you know, different things, different operation, uh, player acquisition, player personnel, uh, everything. I think they, they took a look-see. Uh, I know they did, definitely didn't like these last three home games. You know, given the 37 to Buffalo, 40 to the Chicago Bears, who were 1-5 at the time. And also... Uh, this past week, giving up 38 points to the um, Philadelphia Eagles. So, I guess they just felt, felt like, hey, hey, look, man, you know, we got to look for the future. And this is what happens when you have an ownership come in. You, you Your record is not at the level that we thought it was going to be. We knew it was going to be tough, but we thought it was going to be our defense particularly was going to be better than what it was. We thought our defense would be able to carry us. We thought our defense would be able to, you know, just kind of hold it together for a while. And unfortunately, you know, you, you see them against the Giants game. They held the Giants to 14 points, but we lost. And you lose to your rivals, your 0-3 in the division. To have any chance at all, you have to – Sweep the Cowboys and beat the Giants. Two teams you have historically had trouble with. So, uh, Josh Harris probably and his group probably look at it like, hey, man, you know, uh, we're going to blow everything out 
after this year anyway. So let's get a, uh, you know, let's get a start on, um, you know, doing, getting some, you know, picks and draft capital, anything that we can do to uh, start this process. And that's what they're doing. So I know fan base might feel a certain way, you know, Chase Young being a hometown kid, but to be perfectly 100 with you, I don't think Chase Young was all in. Um, I remember when he got, before he got drafted here, there was a interview that I, that I saw, that I read, and he was, some quotes where he was saying, in regards to Washington or whatever, you know, they, they've been making excuses, you know, so um, that always, I always had that when I thought about Chase, so I was like, you know, you've been a hometown kid, you've been here all your life, you know, once you start getting money, you might want to just, you know, kind of live other places, man, move, move about and see how things are differently, man, so... Uh, I don't know if he was going to resign here anyway, so maybe they got a sense of that. Then his dad coming on the radio on 106, seven the fan uh, yesterday on the Grant Danny show, uh, and he was bigging up his son. You know what dad wouldn't do that, you know. So, um, but you know I kind of got a sense that I think Chase was gone, and I think Chase was just not happy here. To be honest with you. As far as Montez Sweat, uh, hey man, you know, he's never had double digit sacks in his career. He's been here for five years. Um, good player. Um, potentially a game wrecker, but I've seen enough in five years to, to realize that he might not be that on that elite level. Uh, good player. Uh, he has a skill set, can dominate when he wants to, but the thing with him was just probably consistency. Uh, no shade. He's a warrior. He plays hard. Um, but you, you have to make these decisions. Good teams make these type of decisions. And unfortunately, we're not record-wise where we need to be. Uh, and looking at the schedule going forward, okay, we're gonna face off against Chase when he, you know, if he's healthy enough to play when we face the 49ers. But um, we we can't get caught up in the players. We got to get caught up in team uh, and, and and what's best for the, the organization. And so when you have a a shaky situation, the if factor there with Chase, whether they're going to sign here, whether, you know, he's having a, a pretty good year. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. They're both having good years. But they didn't do it here. There wasn't the players that we thought they can be here. Um, like I said, no shade. Good, but for the situation, the money they're going to command, uh, I think I've seen enough of what I'm going to see. What, what I'm going to see. I didn't see enough to give them long-term deals. And, and so we move on and we turn the page. It's a hard decision, but decisions have to be made. And um, you're seeing that with this ownership group. They're going to make the hard decision. They're not going to flinch. They're going to start the process. And um, it is what it is. So, I don't see Ron Rivera surviving. You know, he, he might make it throughout the year, but uh, that remains to be seen. So, um, stay tuned for other moves. This is just the beginning. But I'm pretty sure this is just, you know, this is the start of, uh, of the future. <laughs> so... It is what it is, man. Anyway, hopefully we can get a win this week at New England. So hopefully we can digest this, get it out of our system, and focus on the game at hand, which is this Sunday in New England. And that's not going to be an easy game, especially when you lose two or we trade away two pass rushers. It's not going to be an easy game. But I'm looking forward to 
you know, uh, next man up. So they get the snaps now. So this is where we at, folks. Anyway, peace.